that we all know as or Sophia or Sophia don't enter London hey or Sophia <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl debbie aka debbie lini debbie candy debbie debbie yes everything debbie so i'm basically doing a movie review this movie is on netflix was shot in 2018 just got to netflix i think april 2nd i might be wrong but i know it just got to netflix because it has already been to this um cinema in nigeria people have watched this movie since 2018 but we people that know in nigeria we can't watch it until it came to netflix so anyway i am doing a review of this movie because this movie is the most powerful christian movie i have ever watched on netflix i'm not saying that there are no better ones out there they are obviously or maybe they are not it this is my opinion this is me um if you haven't watched it i think you should watch it it was so emotional i literally cried like i cried in the, at the end of the movie was from that was my touching place for me i literally cried in the movie it was nice it was very nice well thought out the the technical um things the whole transitioning everything was nice anyways before i rumble blah 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 let's watch the trailer i got a call today it was from god So from what you guys just saw, you can tell that there are so many good actors and actresses in this movie. Just pardon me, I would be looking at my phone because I have to read their names. So we have Zena Balogun in this movie. We have Kari B. Fubara. We have Dinah Equeta Equetu. Uh, of course, Richard Mufe Damijo. Tina Emba Oye Ka Nwenu. That lady, she just... She killed that movie. Um, in came over, which of course we all know as or Sophia or Sophia. Don't enter London. Hey, or Sophia was <laughs> so the, or Sophia was in this movie as well. Um Patrick Patrick died <clears throat> Patrick, you know what? Yeah. And it was written by BB Sarrows and directed by BB Sarrows as well. The movie is very inspiring, emotional, and suspense. This movie was about a couple who had a daughter, um, Shade and Francis. They lived happily. They were so happy. The movie started off really nice. You know, they had a daughter. The the girl was not really. I felt like in the beginning, you know, she's not really. She wasn't really into like putting the baby, the girl to sleep. But the dad, which was Francis, was really into that. Like the the daughter would love to, you know, go to bed and she would love to pray and all that stuff. You know, yeah. But the mom was not was not interested right but she loved it was they were living happy you know when the husband is good in something and she, the the wife is not good in something so that was basically what this whole first part of the scene that they showed us was so one day they were eating and the daughter um lola yeah lola said oh daddy um can we go to church right and she literally said like can we go to church and the father the mom and which is francis and shade just looked at themselves and was like church you know like they don't go to church but the daughter was interested in god so i um, me in my in me i'm just like well this is probably how god used that child to take them to church but even if they were not interested in going to church so they went to church that day and the pastor was literally just preaching and all that stuff and he just told her god's calling you madam <laughs> Even me, also, I was watching the movie, I was like, oh, I beg you. Eh? It wasn't, too. it wasn't, guys, it wasn't. He turned again and she was laughing. I thought she was mocking God because she was like, he's just here for, he just, he just wants the money, you know, he just wants the money. And he turned again and told her, he said, yes, you, God is calling you. He shocked you. <laughs> because he shocked me. <laughs> I was like, Mm, okay what i took out of that scene or what i took out after, after of that is that even when that pastor had told her god is calling her because she was not interested in god she 
literally did not listen obviously she's not interested in god so you don't expect her to listen immediately and i felt like the next scene that happened after that was when you know she went back to taking stuff and that was it that was where it all went down that was where it all went down for me that was where the whole movie started for me when she went back to taking cocaine you know and she she was taking it one day and her daughter came in and said mommy what is that and she literally said you know she started you know shouting for the girl and all that stuff sent her to her room and that was it and you know the girl woke up went downstairs on all the gas she was trying to cook indomie you guys have seen you see that in the trailer and you know before we knew it the house exploded i don't know if i should say um god took that child to be able to tell that woman that you know this is how he wants her to get to him or what do you guys think if you haven't watched it just you know comment down below do you think god will take something from you so that you can be able to realize that he's actually talking to you he's actually calling you because i felt like i felt that way but i don't know that's just how i was feeling when i watched the movie so what do you think do you think god is going to take something from you from you for you to realize that he's calling you i'm not preaching but i'm just asking a question he i felt like he took the daughter so that shade can realize that he was calling her and he needed her to go do his work that was what this movie was about yes the girl died you know shade was literally miserable she went back to doing all those you know cocaine you know her husband wanted a divorce you know the family was getting messed up and you know the funniest thing god was calling her phone she actually attempted to commit suicide and while she was falling off the bridge she said god if you're really calling me or if you want to say talk to me save me and of course because again i had questions there is that are we going to be giving god a condition he should save you because he was calling you and again you know it's a movie of course god saved that she that was the turning point that was when she knew god was calling her that was when she decided to face and follow god that was when she decided to you know drop everything at god's feet and you know, and I, as I was watching this movie, my emotions were growing. My emotions were growing until the end, and I just busted into tears. And literally, it was just like I was like, God, speaking in tongues. I was like, God, like, what is your calling for me? What is your calling for me, man? What is your calling for me? That movie shocked me. Anyways, you know, you know, God showed up. He so guys at this point this is where Mufe Damijo kind of came into the movie with his one leg from he was a soldier and all of that and God basically showed up or appeared to Mufe Damijo in the movie whereby he got his healing so yes but and before we knew it he was running with both legs and he was running and running and just realized that i can actually walk like my legs were back and i was just like this is the mighty power of god like that scene was it from us like this is the mighty power of god literally running and just realized that he could walk the iron had disappeared and you know the leg went back to normal of course we know they used a lot of green screen in this movie <laughs> <laughs> they used a lot of green screen in this movie because even in the trailer when Shade jumps from that third mainland bridge or something in the trailer when she jumps down into the water guys that was a green screen it was a green screen if you didn't know that it was a green screen it was green screen oh <laughs> they used a lot of green screen that is why i said the technical part of this movie is it for me because those green screen that they use you can tell if you know anything about that but in a way you know but yeah they used a lot of green screen which was nice i didn't really have any issue with that but i had a lot to learn from this movie personally so if you haven't watched it it's on netflix now if you're not in nigeria if you're in nigeria it should be in the cinema or just you know check netflix it's i feel like i know i feel that movie is really powerful and again that's the question is what is god calling us to do where has god called us or where have he where is he calling us and we're not listening or has he called you and you're listening you know what do you think and yeah what do you think about the movie if you've watched it share your thoughts if you haven't watched it go watch it and yes guys this is going to be the end of this video i am so happy you guys have subscribed if you haven't subscribed
subscribe like literally subscribe guys we need to get to at least 500 subscribers i know we are on 100 subscribers and when you ask me i'll tell you i'm on 100k subscribers we're on 100k subscribers we need to get to 500k subscribers remember to like share and subscribe like right down there yeah subscribe there there somewhere there subscribe click the subscribe button and let us move um yeah so that'll be the end of this video <laughs>